I'm still off here at the fight that someone said I'm a hoe. One, two, three, let's go! Welcome back to my youtube channel those who love me call me mazep those who hate me call me mazep but either way please subscribe to my channel and join the family i came across a tweet on twitter and it was basically about wait, let me actually go back to the tweet i'll probably try and put it somewhere on the screen so you guys know what i'm talking about and i just thought i should make a video about it because i felt like i resonated with the tweet so much being that i'm someone who comes from a very strict come from very strict parents or I grew up in a very strict household. They've gotten better over the years, but like when I was reading the tweets, some of them I was like, actually, is this why I react this way? Because I can relate. So I am not a psychologist, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist. I'm not saying good to you react in this way because of this, but I'm just this made sense to me. So I'm just gonna share my experience. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm gonna say or I'm not gonna say who tweeted what, but if you've already put it on Twitter. I mean, I guess you're not really shy about people knowing who wrote it. Someone said, I can't handle confrontation. I don't, I don't, oh, ooh, I don't often express my emotions. People pleaser. I don't enjoy staying out late. I don't have a lot of friends. Constantly thinking I'm being judged. Concerned about what people think of me. Wow. Um... Okay, I'll just talk about the... Oh, wait. I'll just talk about the people please apart because I feel like I've said on this channel countless times, numerous times, Guti, I am a recovering people pleaser. Even even to this day, I catch myself people pleasing. I can definitely relate to people pleasing because I don't want to hurt people's feelings and I'm always just trying to keep the peace at the expense of myself and also falls to i can't handle confrontation i hate confrontation when people realize that you actually don't like to go back and forth with people they take you for a boost but sometimes i'm just like you know actually today i have time i don't often express my emotions i think this is why i'm emotionally unavailable because even now i catch like people in this family actually like in my family i catch people when i'm saying i don't like one two three four five because of one they're like ah when i'm jalo i say there's a complaint and things like that bother me so i think growing up i was just like you know what i don't know if it's growing up in a black household but growing up you just like if that's how you feel you're just gonna have to bottle it up and then so sometimes i'm just like mm. I don't say what's in pink and then I'll die inside and then I'll hate myself for dying inside concerned about what people think of me. I'm always making up assumptions in my head of what people are saying about me. People just, people could just be staring because they're just staring and people stare sometimes when they say drop dead gorgeous bitch. But in my head I'll be thinking what's no they're staring because maybe I have snot in my nose, maybe the dress is too short or maybe i drop something like i'm very like like i'm just like yo guys i don't like to go alone in public spaces where i'm wearing something short i've gotten better in the sense of booty i'll wear something short if i'm driving if i'm driving or if i'm going with someone who's driving if i'm going with my cousin or my brother whatever and we're in a car i'll wear something short but if i'm in a taxi ish it's quite tricky unless i'm with a friend in a taxi but if i'm alone catch me oh, dead the same person actually said oh hey co inconveniencing people i won't ask i think yes absolutely guys i could be under a bridge i will not ask in my head i think the minute i open my mouth the minute i open my mouth to ask i'm just like someone is just like rolling their eyes let me make an example end of august i'm taking my what is i was applying to val i'm applying to val and now i'm like going to drop off my thing what is it my application at the post office I'm like because she doesn't actually want to go anywhere. I'm the one who has to go to town. So now I'm getting agitated. I'm getting irritated with her. Oguti, village is not gonna offer me the car. Now I have to take a taxi, and it's like what two p.m. and it's very long. But still, I'm just like 
it's just convenient for me to like just take the car it's like okay yeah sharp and dog born guys i got so annoyed i'm like i'm gonna go very soon off a rich if you know what i'm gonna go soon off a rich so that's an elbow i'm also like like you know i'm not man when i look at you guys guys who fake Nazo Ushumete, Nakte, Lusula in the Kala, Tutiati in a mag, and Kala would tumble in Motangan be selling. I was just like, I know I have problems, but please meet me halfway because you know I won't ask. Just help me, bro. Like, see, day. Okay, so I will. Sorry about that, guys. Um, so I have realized because it's going to be time consuming for me to read everything. So I think I'll just read out the ones that I resonate with or just connect with. So someone said, I hate crowded places. When I was younger, I think it wasn't like as obvious. I just don't like crowded places. But now that I've gotten older, like crowded places make me so uncomfortable. Like they make me so uncomfortable. Like I'm just like... There's no need to just call it Especially if there's a crowded place and I'm walking towards that crowded place, right? If I'm walking towards that crowded place and now all eyes on me, yo, oh, suffering, worst nightmare, worst nightmare. Like I look my dagger. I realized it was bad when I realized because I have two friends and I was like, and I just I, me making a friend or me. Connecting with someone and trying to be like friendly is me laughing at something they saying maybe about Iram. They're like, yeah, hey, yes, I do that Iram, and I'll be like, <laughs> hey, and they're That's how I start a conversation because I won't say hi, man. Woo! Guys, I'm tell you something. I hate with all of my being. You know what I hate? When let's say you're going to a uh, get together or uh, party, and now you have to be. You have to be like now people are like saying you're like hi guys i'm zanella yo please don't do that shit like yo i don't like that like i just prefer things to be smooth i don't want to introduce myself i don't want to do none of that shit and which is quite of dumb because how are people gonna know me but i'm fun good to hi someone i'm like no 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 that's all eyes on me i don't like that i don't like i don't like that what i want is good to bamba kamala memoyen that's how you catch with oh Zanel. Oh my lord of course. Then I'm like, oh my lord. Oh, you know, subu up my drinks. Like I like things like that. Like let's not yo, let's not complicate things. I don't like being introduced because I don't know how to act. And then like I'm just like, oh because I'm like please, I don't know. Like I, sh I don't know guys, why? And I just struggle to make friends because I feel like sometimes I don't let people connect with me. Like, I'll just be like, mm. or sometimes I'll be like, my way of connecting to make friends would be the bare minimum. Like, sometimes I'll try and make friends with people. I'm like, oh, you could be my kind of girl. But I won't, like, if you're chilling with other people, I will just be like, I won't even, like, entertain chilling with you. I'll be like, hi, guys, Jude. Like, just be, and in my head, I'll be like, in my head, you need to come to me because I'm already awkward. I feel awkward. It's, I would be suffering if I came up to you and said, hi, Muzanele. Like, no, you come to me. Like, yo, oh, guys, please. But the other point that I wanted to mention was I have a temper. I have a temper due to a lot of stuff I've bottled up. I've bottled up. Absolutely. Um, that's just childhood stuff, man, because for someone who who is a recovering people pleaser and who doesn't like to inconvenience people you you learn to put your feelings aside even if something has broken your heart as a people pleaser as someone who doesn't want to inconvenience people you learn to bottle up your emotions you learn to not speak up for yourself and in you doing that you basically you're basically not choosing yourself. You're basically saying, you know what, Zanella Monta on the side. Lacking self self esteem and confidence to make decisions, bitch. Me and you, we understand each other. It feels well within my soul currently, and this is. I feel like this is the right thing to do right now. That's the decision I'm gonna make. But before, if it's a big decision, I am not making it.
So if something goes left, I'd rather blame the person who made the decision than myself. Because if I make a decision and it goes left, I'll be like, why did you make the decision in the Lord? Why didn't you consult with other people and make other people? How do you even let people make big decisions on your life? Make big decisions for you on your life? Someone said, um, now that I'm grown, my mom suddenly wants me to open up and tell her about everything going on in my life. Boys and all, and shame I cannot, it's too late. Oh shit. Yo. Oh. Ooh. No, um. This is funny because it's actually, it's, it's funny because literally that's how my mom is like. Like sometimes she's like, who's your boyfriend? I'm like, God. And then she'll watch my YouTube videos and then she'll be like, this lying bitch. I just feel like a foundation has been built, right? A foundation of that's not what you talk about with your mama. Like, I feel like you could have tried to rebuild it at 14, 15, first time you caught me with the boy, but you didn't. You tried to, like, make it seem like this forbidden thing and don't. You're going to go to hell and I'm at demon, you know? And now I'm just like now it's just i'm very uncomfortable with things like this i am extremely uncomfortable we're talking about oh so it is bitch ass nick i almost don't want to say it's too late but i don't know because you know you you're still gonna need your parents when you get married and i'm shut the mass like yes or someone said i'm a perfectionist i calculate everything yes i can relate to that absolutely someone said i'm a hoe <laughs> No, no, I'm a hoe. <laughs> Am I a late bloomer? No, bitch. No, bitch. No late bloomer over here. <laughs> Someone said, can't face my dad when having struggles, still running to mom. But slowly and surely we becoming locked together. My relationship with my father is not like very, it's not close knit. It's not. It's not together, Sibambin, you know? Like, I'll ask him with, like, rela work-related stuff because we kind of be, like, in the same field. Oh, so someone said they're always angry. And anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video up until the end. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and join the family, and share it if you can. Bye.